guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I'm doing a prom makeup look and I wanted to do something a little bit more dramatic because prom is a little bit, it's like a you know special occasion. So I just wanted to really play around my makeup, make it a little bit darker, just a little bit more smoky and just dramatic. I wanted it to be dramatic and of course I wanted to use colors that um, easy to find well I mean I'm using the naked 3 palette and such a popular palette that's why I wanted to pick this up because I'm sure a lot of people have it if you don't have it I'm sure your friend has it so you know if you guys are gonna get ready together so I wanted to use this palette because it is very versatile and it has really nice neutral colors they're not like your typical black and brown but anybody can still wear them and they're still they still go with everything like if you are wearing a green dress you know like there's no reason why you still couldn't wear these colors they're just warm kind of neutrals and I think that this look would look good on everybody it's more dramatic it's dark and you don't even have to use these colors just play around with the colors that you like just use like the technique or something and I am going to be doing more prom makeup looks so this isn't the only one so if you guys want anything specific then please leave it down below and I will do it or I'll try my best to recreate it or whatever you guys want to send me and if you guys have any specific colors I'll also do that too I usually don't like to do colors especially for prom because I don't believe that you sh you should match your makeup with your dress like the same color you know that was so like like I'm so guilty of it when I was like in high school I was doing my friends makeup and um, you know whatever color their dress was was the color that was going on their eyes so I'm so guilty of that also but this is like it's not happening anymore so I just want to do something neutral that anybody can wear that will go with any color but if you guys want to see specific colors then I will gladly do it so just Leave it down below. Okay, anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. And if you want to find out how I did it, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I'm going to be starting off with a clean face. And for that, I'm just going to take my Yes to Cucumber Wipes. And I'm just going to clean my face and then quickly moisturize before applying my primer. For my primer, I decided to take my Baby Skin Maybelline Primer. And this primer I really, really love. It works really good for a drugstore uh, primer. So it's a good alternative for on a budget type of primer and then I'm also going to be applying a full coverage foundation and I really really love this foundation especially for a special occasion like prom because it has no SPF so you're not going to get that white face when you take flash photography and also it gives you a flawless finish and it's going to last all night so I definitely recommend this so moving on to my eyes I'm going to be picking up a primer and I'm going to evenly apply this on my entire lid and on my lower lash line so the first color I'm going to be picking up is from my naked 3 palette and this color is called limit and I'm taking a large fluffy brush and I'm going to blend this right into well just right above my crease and this is going to be a transition color from all the darker smoky colors that we're going to be using Going back into my palette and a smaller blending brush, I'm going to pick up Nooner. And this color, you want to run it through your socket line and this is going to give our eyes more depth and dimension. And again, it's just going to help transition the darker colors into our skin tone. So it's going to give you a nice smoky effect. So for the third color, I'm going to pick up Black Heart, and this is a really, really dark, like a black color with little purple sparkles, so it's really, really, really pretty. I love this color. If you don't want to go as dark, then you can definitely stop at Nooner, but I think that uh, Prom is such a special occasion, so I just wanted to go a little bit darker with the look and just a little bit more intense, so I really, really love it. And you want to focus this color on the outer corners of your eyes and then sweep it inwards. So here I'm taking Mugshot and with a flat shader brush I'm going to apply this just on the 
round part of my eyes like the ball of my eye just to make the color stand out and it looks a little bit more 3d so it just gives the look a little bit of a it just kicks it up a notch than your normal smoky eye so I really like it And then to highlight my eyes, I'm going to take Strange, and this is just a matte vanilla shade, and this is just to highlight the eyes. It doesn't really give it any, it has no shine or anything, so it's just lighting up the inner corners, and later I'm going to use something a little bit shimmery. So now I'm going to take a black pencil and I'm just going to tightline my eyes, and I'm also going to bring that color down to my waterline and a little on my lower lash line. I'm going to pick up a small pencil brush and I'm going to start buffing that color out. And you really want to smoke it out to create a smoky eye. I'm going to take the black from the Naked 2 palette. It's probably like the blackest black that I own so that's why I'm picking that up and I'm just going to set the black eyeliner with that and to smoke the color out I'm going to take Nooner from my Naked 3 palette and try to blend that black out into my skin. So once you've accomplished that look, then you want to line your eyes and I'm taking just a black gel eyeliner and I'm going to create a pretty dramatic wing and this is a type of wing that is kind of like a cat shape. So I'm bringing the eyeliner all the way into my inner corners and I'm kind of bringing it down a little bit to create a sexier type of cat eye. So I really, really love doing this. And then, of course, you want to take your favorite mascara. This is uh, my Lash Stiletto, which is one of my favorite mascaras that I recently discovered. I've seen it around, but I've never actually used it, and I really, really love it. So I'm going to apply a generous amount of coats to my lashes and then apply some false lashes. Now moving on to my eyebrows, I'm going to fill them in, and I'm just going to move pretty fast through this process because... You guys don't need to see that and it's just really quick. So now I'm going to be highlighting my under eyes and I'm taking my Dream Lumi concealer and I love this concealer because it has such a thin formula so it blends out really nice but it is a little drying so I like to work in sections. So uh, once you apply it I like to blend that out and then move on to another place that I want to highlight and of course I'm taking my Beauty Blender to blend it out. So here I'm taking a large Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm going to take my mineralized skin finish and just um, set the outside of my face, like the outside perim perimeter where I didn't apply any concealer. And this is just going to set my face and then to set my concealer I'm going to take my translucent crystal from NARS and a small brush and I'm just going to set those areas that I highlighted. I'm going to be doing a little bit of contouring and I'm taking my Hoola bronzer and I'm going to take this brush that is kind of like a pinched brush so it gives you a really nice contour line so I'm just going to contour the sides of my cheeks and get a really sharp line and then I'm taking a small angled brush and I'm going to start diffusing that color out and I'm also going to bring that contour up to my hairline and my temples and my jawline. And here I'm going to contour my nose. I'm taking Hula Bronzer again and I'm just taking a small brush and I'm going to start contouring the sides of my nose and the very tip. And I'm going to take that concealer one more time and apply it just to the very center of my nose, the bridge of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. And I'm going to blend that out using my finger. And here I'm going to highlight, I'm taking Soft and Gentle and a small brush. This one is from Real Techniques and I'm going to apply that to the high points of my cheeks, the bridge of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. At this point I decided that I wanted to amp up the look a little bit more. So I decided to go with the same highlight and I'm going to apply that to the inner corners of my eyes and also to my brow bone. And this going to make the look look a little bit more intense and just vibrant and just more dramatic. 
Here I'm picking up the color Raisin, and this is just a really pretty dark um, shade from MAC. It's a blush, and I'm just going to very lightly apply it to my cheek. Here for my lips, I'm taking Wallflower from Urban Decay, and I'm just going to use this to line my lips, and I'm also going to fill them in. And then here I'm taking Mocha, I believe. Uh, uh, everything will be listed down below, but I believe this is called Mocha from Smashbox. And I'm just going to be applying that on, and then lastly, I'm going to take that same highlight and just reapply it to my Cupid's bow to redefine it. And after that, that completes the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this prom smoky eye tutorial, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment, and I'll talk to you guys soon.